Hey everybody, welcome back to the show. I'm your host, Dr. Nick, and welcome back to the 90s Guys Show. Today I wanted to talk about Toys R Us and the potential bankruptcy filing that may be taking place. Apparently they have hired a uh, company to restructure the assets. They are consultants that are coming in. Kirkland and Ellis, uh, they are coming in and trying to get rid of the $446 million debt before this uh, fiscal year is up. And they will also have a $2.2 billion uh, in the following year, depending on you know what happens with this holiday season, the uh, online sales, stuff like that. Basically, uh, they're going to have a $5 billion long-term debt if they don't figure out how to restructure their company and figure out exactly what the issue is. A lot of people think that it happened uh, when they were purchased in 2005 by a company called Bain Capital, Vernado Realty and Trust, and a company called KKR. They invested in the company in 2005 and apparently they had a huge uh, debt before they even uh, purchased the investment in the company with it, you know, itself. And it doesn't, you know, help the fact that 1999, the holiday season, was a huge bust. Apparently, uh, items were not delivered to people uh, promptly until after Christmas. So that was a huge issue with that, and the money was... Uh, they were uh, tried to remedy the issue with a 10-year contract with Amazon.com. Now, apparently Amazon.com uh, sort of breached the contract, and by letting third-party sellers sell on their, on their website, the original contract, Amazon was supposed to be their exclusive online provider for their sales. Because as you know, in 2017, and you know, I think around 2000 is when online sales really started to become more mainstream as opposed to actually going into a brick and mortar store. Now, uh, the Amazon Corporation in 2004, uh, they were sued by Toys R Us over this issue. They settled it in 2009. And due to issues with the contract being breached, they had to pay uh, $51 million to the Toys R Us Corporation. Um, another big issue with the bankruptcy problems is they spent over $100 million on online uh, sales tech uh, and bringing up to speed, at least technology-wise. The biggest issue they had was the baby R, Babies R Us side of the, the company. Apparently their online registry tool was not reliable and uh, items were not delivered the way they should have been. Uh, here's a brief history of the company. It was founded in 1948 in Washington, D.C. Currently right now there are well over 1,500 plus stores in the U.S. and outside of the United States. They opened up Toys R Us Expresses uh, around the time when KB was starting to uh, declare bankruptcy and close up shop in a lot of different malls. These were smaller stores. They popped up during the holidays, and they, you know, once the holidays were done, they closed up. Some of them they actually kept open. In 2014, uh, they declared 12.4 billion dollars in assets. That may have changed since then. I wasn't able to find an actual exact figure of their yearly assets at this time. Now, uh, the biggest problem with this issue with Toys R Us and the ba possible bankruptcy is at one time, their biggest competitors, well, even now, are Walmart, Target, uh, and of course, you know, online sales of Amazon, things of that nature. 
Toys R Us was really huge uh, during probably late 70s, early 80s. Uh, you know, people had expendable incomes in the 80s, the 90s too. And then when the recession hit uh, around 2000, 2001, things really started to look very bleak for the company. Uh, I mean, granted, things have changed in the market of toys. You know, it used to be Nintendo and Legos. I mean, Legos are still popular, but things have changed to Minecraft, Five Nights at Freddy's. Of course, you know, the professional wrestling figures are still popular. You can see them behind me, of course. But a lot of them actually had to depend on the Babies R Us side of the store to even keep the, the store afloat. I spoke to an employee recently and had asked why a lot of the stores are now combined. And he told me that if it wasn't for the fact of the baby side of selling the furniture and supplies for children, the company uh, basically said that selling toys alone was not keeping the stores afloat and being marketable. So I guess I could kind of see that, but uh, I hope this doesn't go, you know, the path of KB Toys because, I mean, that's completely gone. Uh, it's unfortunate, but it, it happened. Uh, Walmart is still a huge supplier of toys. Meyer, and of course, you know, the online market of ordering something, getting sent to your house. And a lot of times on Amazon, you get it with free shipping. So, is this the end for the once juggernaut Toys R Us? I don't know. Like this video, hit the subscribe button down below, and I'll see you all later.